this presentation is end of the case critical thinking. So at the end of the surgery, um, what do you do to ensure the quality of the work? So um, it, this presentation focuses on all the processes that I go through and the thinking that I go through when I'm performing final checks. So I look at the graft position. Are they uh, properly seated? Are they below the skin surface? Do I need to pull them up? The hair curl direction. Um, then I also look, are there any empty sites? Do they need to be filled? If I have no more grafts left, then I need to reposition the grafts to make sure even distribution. And I also look for anything that is unusual. So for example, trap hair or compromised blood supply. The objective of this presentation is to help you develop a keen eye to see things when they're not what they're supposed to be. So final check is, has a purpose to look for everything that is supposed to be right and then to notice anything that doesn't meet that standard and correct it in order to um, do a, a good, um, achieve good results. So as looking at a big picture, knowing how to zoom and focus on what you need. So the idea is for you to develop a keen eye. So um, first glance at this, F U or F U T, F U E. The epidermal cap is evenly round on every graft, indicates um, that even the, the, that's a punch dissection. The other thing is a, a quick glance and I'm looking at anything that is odd. I can go one at a time, like a row by row, or I can see, I can glance and I can say, hey, all these graphs look evenly distributed. There's an empty area here, empty site. There's an empty area here, empty sites. So I would notice that. I would notice that graphs are facing in the same direction. This one is slightly off, but then when I go back into this area, there's a lot of graphs pointing backwards versus pointing in the right direction. Next case. Um, this is obvious around... 12 o'clock, this entire area has a lot of empty sites. These two grafts are seated a little bit above the skin. By the way, this is an FUT procedure. If you look at the epidermal cap on um, these grafts, it's uneven because of the dissection. Um, so then another thing that I'm attracted to is the um, low seated uh, grafts below the skin. They need to be like this one, this one, and this one are below. And then there's a one graft here that is sitting way too high. So as I look at the graft that is seated below the skin surface, I'm going to pull it up because if I don't, the skin is going to heal and cause pitting in unnatural hair growth. But then as I do that, I look at these graphs, they're slightly elevated, they can go and you, without being adjusted. However, this and this, I'm sorry, and this graph, these need to be adjusted, but you can see how almost where the splaying of the hair follicle is happening, that means that you're already below sebaceous gland and sebaceous gland has um, regenerative cells. So if the sebaceous, the area, the sebaceous gland dries, the entire graft will not survive. So the next case, I look at, uh, this is FUT case, the grafts are seated properly, hair curl is in the right direction. Then I notice this is an empty site and this is possibly an empty site. And this here looks like a hair that belongs to the skin around it. There's like a site over there and then the skin, the hair over here, maybe hair got cut during the receiving site, but before I would place another graft on the top of it, I'm always going to grab the uh, hair and tug on it. If it belongs to the skin around, it's going to just tug, but it won't be able to pull anything out. But in this specific case, it was a graft inside of the site, so I pull it out. Um, in this case, if you look at this graft, is sitting way too high, so I, before I push it down, there's a hair on the edge, so I'm going to test that and see what I discover. Another graph was already inside of that site. So um, pay attention, especially on uh, hairs that are around the sites. This image is um, older, I don't, it's not the high quality, so I know this image is not the sharpest, but I'm attracted to something and I'm going to highlight the area. I can see the graph sitting at the surface this is almost sitting on the top. Those two grafts are definitely going to dry and die if I don't push them in. If you look, this is like a um, sebaceous gland area. So there's a regenerative cells here, regenerative cells there. 
both dry dye. However, I'm noticing something else. I looked here and then I see bulb indicating that maybe either the one here shaft was shorter and that graft didn't make it inside of the site or that the entire graft is sitting way too high outside of the site. And there's another bulb that I'm seeing here and that bulb indicates that most likely during the placement, the graft, the hair shaft got bent and then the bulb is sitting outside of the site. Another area on that, this specific image is um, that I'm noticing hair bulbs here. Look, there's like a V, inverted V. So there's a graft that was hiding behind the hair. So you have to be very vigilant. You have to be, have an eye to keep scanning, looking for everything and, and to look for these um, graphs that they're not seated properly. In this specific case, yeah, I see this blood here, but what I'm really attracted to is this area here. So what I see is actually a trap here. If I don't pull this hair out, um, at this point I can reposition, pull the hair out and, and free it underneath the graft and reposition the graft. But if we leave it like this, patient may start combing and catch with a comb that hair loop and pull the entire graft out. So whenever we are looking at the end of the case, we're also looking at something that is unusual. So I said a trap here, but it also can be a blood supply compromise. So when you look at, you look at the uniform color of the skin in this case, and then there's a changing in, in coloration indicating a compromised blood supply. So at the very end, uh, to summarize, you need to know what to look for. You need to have a focus and a keen eye to recognize and find what you're looking for, where there's a, something is right or when something is not right, whether it stands out. And then you have to invest time and effort Sometimes at the end of the case, we're tired. We feel like, oh, I, I don't have it in me. My eyes are tired. Step outside, have a glass of water, come back. But you should never compromise with your standards. And keep in mind that those small steps that you do at the end of the case make a huge difference and will set uh, quality of your work. So good quality always stands out. Thank you.